<laughs> oh my goodness gracious man 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 <sighs> boy you know it, it, it today uh, it, it just feels good to be a Deontay Wilder fan that doesn't it that it just feel good you know I, I was really never one of those people who cared much about pay-per-views though I'm, I'll just be 100 you know I never really cared too much about him you know I remember some idiot man he was a uh, got mad and got triggered because I didn't talk about Andre Ward's pay-per-view numbers, you know, like, I'm, why? I don't care about him. Oh, you're not going to talk about Andre Ward's little pay-per-view numbers. Then got triggered and, you know, death threats and all this other mess that, you know, of course he couldn't back up. But that, that's subject for another video. Um, <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm talking about this and I'm laughing at this one because, uh, you know, Deontay Wilder is so hated. Like, he's hated, like, a lot. And people were literally wanting this to fail. Like, known Deontay Wilder haters, man. They was, you know, boy, they was getting a celebration going on. They was getting they, they, they dancing. And they was going to get all that hot garbage going on. Boy, I'm telling you, they was ready. They was ready for the pay-per-views to be 100,000, something like that. <laughs> but you can't say it. <laughs> and, and you know what? I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna tell you how, how sad these people are. I'm going to tell you how sad they are. So 300K, they're going to be like, oh, he should have got 400,000. And if he'd got 400,000, they'd be like, he should have got 500,000. And if he'd got 500,000, they probably would have said, huh, huh, he should have got a million. You know, that's probably what they would have said. I mean, seriously, that's what they would have said. Uh, well, you know, all I got to say to you guys that said that, you know, this was a failure, because this was a success. Uh, to be fighting against Luis Ortiz, uh, somebody, you know, he beat the first time. So I think people know Luis Ortiz now um, after that first fight. You know, I don't think Luis Ortiz was completely unknown. But, you know, I don't I don't think he drove most of the fans to the fight. I think that was Wilder and, you know, a lot of the LDBC. So what happened to, you know, man, you LDBC guys, y'all don't buy fights. You LDBC guy, and, you know, and, and a lot of us put our receipts up on the screen. I mean, I've, I've done that before, but I'm like, you know what? I don't see a need. I don't have to prove nothing to anybody here. I don't have to do any proving. I'm, I'm not going to prove anything to anybody, okay? That, psh, for, for what? Why? Okay? I've done that before. I'm not doing that no more, okay? I'm not going to prove that I'm a fan. You know, I don't have to do that. Um, most of the brothers in the LDBC actually bought pay-per-view. You know, but, you know, let these people tell it. They'll say something like, well, you know, the LDBC, they, they go to streaming services and, and blah, 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 you know. In a, in a fight of this importance, I didn't want to trust it to a streaming service. I, I, I wouldn't do that because, you know, you don't want to go through the buffering. And, you know, you got to do that when you're, you know, doing a stream. And it's just, it just you know, having a stream, stream is a headache. It really is. It's just my, that's why I got ESPN Plus. That's why um, I, I even got the zone uh, so I can watch Bellator MMA. But that's why, you know, I don't do, I don't do streaming too much, man. Because it just, and even when you pay for some of the streaming, like the paid streams, it's still a headache because you still get buffering from time to time. I just don't, I really don't like the streams that much. But, you know, you do what you got to do. So I decided to support this particular fight. I support the fights that I like. So this was a fight that, you know, I actually, I, I didn't like it at first. And I'll be, I'll keep it 100. I didn't like this fight at first because I felt like Deontay Wilder already beat this guy. And there's no need for Wilder to go and fight this guy again. You know, it just didn't make sense to me. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, when he fight Tyson Fury, yeah, I'll, I'll support that fight. And when he fights the winner of Joshua Ruiz, I'm hoping it's Ruiz. And it's not because I want to see AJ fail, but, you know, it's because AJ done already been running around here talking about that he's not going to fight Wilder, so don't ask him about Wilder. You know, and there's something, man, that a lot of, you know, Anthony Joshua fans, not UK fans, but AJ fans, they don't want to even, they don't even want to discuss the fact that the man said if he win, he don't talk about Wilder. Like, so we're going we're gonna to start the cycle back over again. Like, we're going to start it back over. It's going to be the game, you know, the ducking game, the lies by Eddie Hearn. And, guys, everything's out now. When AJ got knocked out, got knocked down four times by Andrew Weez, we pretty much already know now it was a lie. Okay, we already know it was a lie. I mean, everything he said was a lie. 
Okay, all the stuff that, you know, Wilder afraid of uh, AJ and Wilder could have fought AJ. Listen, with the stuff going on, Deontay Wilder, you know, wasn't even guaranteed an AJ fight. He wasn't guaranteed. I mean, y'all heard it. Like, AJ, you know, tried to pull out of the fight against Ruiz. This Andy Ruiz. He tried to pull out. Could you imagine the anxiety he would have had trying to fight Wilder? I mean, I, I, I can almost imagine he'd try to pull out of the fight. I can almost imagine. Okay? And that was real. That was real. Okay? Him trying to pull out of the Andy Ruiz fight was real. It is what it is, y'all. But, you know, I know that these, you know, Deontay Wilder, you know, detractors, what they're going to do is they're going to find a way to spin this off to make it seem like the numbers are not good. And, you know, actually, yeah, this is a pay-per-view uh, success. I don't care what anybody say. You know, am, am I, I ain't really talking about, you know, those zone numbers the first time. You remember? I think AJ did something like 50,000 uh, views on zone. Something like that. You know, I don't want to talk about that. Man, I tell you what, though, y'all. I tell you what. Here go the thing, though, okay? This is good, okay? This is good for Deontay Wilder. And everybody in the heavyweight division. And see, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell y'all why I thought Dillian White was a genius. See, Dillian White pretty much know what it is, okay? Dillian White, the only one got sense and said, you know what? Let me go ahead and start really aggressively calling out Deontay Wilder. And that's what he started doing. That's what Dillian White started doing. He already know. See, everybody else trying to act like, you know, what, Deontay Wilder ain't popular. You know, Deontay Wilder ain't all that. Deontay Wilder ain't the A-side. Well, at least Dillian White understands that Deontay Wilder is the A-side. He understands that. So guess what? Dillian White is the one out here looking like he wants the most smoke. Everybody else got, everybody else twiddling their thumbs. You know, if I'm Wilder, I'd go ahead and fight him. I'd go ahead and fight Dillian White. You know, I was opposed to that fight in the beginning, but yeah, go on and knock Dillian White out. Go on and knock him out. Go on and collect a nice little paycheck. And then say something like, look, and if AJ get in here with me, this is what's going to happen to AJ too. You know? And fight him in the UK. Yeah, go fight him in the UK. I'll do it. I'll do it. But see, everybody else, they're trying to act like, uh, you know, why ain't such a big star? Why ain't this? Why ain't that? Listen, man, listen, listen. We always say here that pay-per-view numbers give you a story of who messed with you. Pay-per-view numbers give you the story. This man can get a million viewers, okay, and 300,000 of those million viewers going to pay to watch him fight. Could you imagine if Deontay Wilde consistently got 4 million viewers to watch him? He'd be at a million pay-per-view buys right now. If he can get 4 million viewers to watch him consistently, not just one time, but consistently. So that means that every time Deontay Wilder get over a million views in, in regular TV, he's going to get right around 300,000 pay-per-view buys against it. don't even matter who he fight. He fight Tyson Fury, though. I, I suspect that fight that's going to be probably around 500,000 pay-per-view buys, you know. Which, you know, okay, that's still good. In this era, it's pretty good. But what else can y'all say, though? What, what else can people say about Deontay Wilder? Like, <laughs> seriously. Seriously, y'all, it, it, it don't even make sense at this point now. Okay? It don't even, and if you're American, and if you swear up and down, well, I don't like Wilder, well, okay. Okay, it is what it is. You ain't got to like him. But, boy, you better look at it. You better learn to love it. Because <laughs> Bomb Squad here at least for six more years, and it's not a damn thing that you, especially you, going to do about it.